Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lesson 1, Relational Database Technology and Select Statement, part 1. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to define and give an example of relational database, identify table key terms including row, column, field, primary key and foreign key, match projection and selection with their correct capabilities, describe the capabilities of select statement, and explain the describe keyword. Database is a part of our everyday life. If you have ever made an airline reservation, used an auto teller machine or made a mobile phone call, you have used a database. If the data is stored in terms of tables, it is called a relational database. A relational database allows tables to be related by means of a common field. This common field is also called as common attribute. Table employees and departments, as in our example here, shared a common field named department ID. Table is a basic storage structure which consists of number one, row, number two, key column, which is a primary key, number three, non key column, number four, key column, because it is a foreign key, number five is integrity constraint. And number six, null values in the table. There are six properties of tables in a relational database. Number one, entries in columns are single valued. Each cell contains only one value. Second one, entries in columns are of the same kind. If you take a look, if the column is a number, everything inside that column is a number. Number three, each row is unique means we have a primary key for each table. Number four, sequence of columns is insignificant. Which column at the front or which column at the back is not important. Number five, sequence of rows is insignificant. Means which row at the top or which row at the bottom is not important. The last one, each column has a unique name. What does it mean here? Attribute name must be unique in the same table. Working with the database is very similar to calling up and talking to a friend on the phone. First, you must choose a method to communicate, which is the phone. Once connected, you ask your friend a question. This is what we call as a query. In response to your question, your friend answers, means the return of data. In this class, our method of communication with the database will be through Oracle Express Edition. Communicating with RDBMS is accomplished by entering SQL statement in Oracle Application Express. Request is sent to the Oracle server. Then, the Oracle server will process the data before return and finally display the result. There are four categories of SQL. The first one is Data Manipulation Language, DML, which we use the command of select, insert, update, delete and merge. The second one is data definition language, DDL, which we have create, author, drop, rename, truncate and comment. Data control language for grant and revoke, especially for the DBA. And transaction control, which is commit, rollback and save point. Let's move on to the next part. Select statement is the most important keyword in SQL. There are two capabilities of select statement, which are Projection, used to choose columns in a table and selection, which used to choose rows in a table. Based on this example, we want to select salary from employees where last name like Smith. Means, we want to select row last name of Smith and display the salary. The intersection in green cell, which is 5000, will be displayed. Imagine you have this employee table in your database. You need to use select statement to retrieve data from the database. If you want to select every data in database, you need to use select all from table name. Asterisk or we say all here means we want to get every column in that particular table. The portion of select all here means it is a select clause and the portion from from table name here is what we call as 
from clause. The combination of these clauses will made up a statement. So that's why in the end we will always say it is as SQL statement. Now let's try to code your first SQL statement. Remember our employees table just now? Let's try to get all data from employees table. So how can we do it would be select all from employees. Then all of the columns inside employees table together with all of the rows will be displayed. Why do we get all of the rows? Because we have no condition yet. Hence, all rows are selected. Sometimes we just want to see certain columns from the table. How can we do it? Select column name 1, comma, column name 2, comma, column name 3. If you want to stop at 3 column, after column name 3, comma is not needed. Then, from table name. Then only three columns with all of the rows will be projected in table result. Let's take a look at the example. Select first name, salary, email, job ID from employees. Means we want to select only four columns out of 11 columns inside employees table. And this is the result. There are a lot of tables in the database. But not every single details in the tables are memorized by the user. Hence, to see the structure of the table, you can use keyword describe. Describe table name. Then you can execute. For example, we want to know the details of department's table. Then we can execute describe departments. Then this is the result that you will get. If you take a look, all of the columns and the data types of departments table will be displayed. Sometimes you also can use DESC, but I will always prefer describe. That's all for now. See you again in the next part. Thank you.